This may be a bad idea. So anyway, we are field testing the Brooks Carbonite jacket. I'm literally here in a field testing this out and I'm gonna show this to you right now. Need to adjust our camera some more. This is gonna be a real crap-tastic video, I feel. So this is the field tested review of the Brooks Carbonite jacket. And uh, yeah, to start off, uh, I just got done with a four and a half mile run. So I am battle testing this gear today. It's about 34 degrees out. It's a little chilly with a pretty slight breeze, but the uh, overall jacket has held up really well and it's going to be uh, my choice for less favorable weather. So right away off the bat, the Brooks Carbonite jacket is cut just like the Brooks Canopy jacket, with the exception that the Carbonite material feels less permeable. So I feel like this is gonna do a lot better with uh, rain and like a water repellent. Unlike the Canopy jacket, this fabric feels less permeable and more waterproof. So it's uh, 34 degrees right now. And I'm actually very comfortable wearing this jacket. It's not so impermeable that it's not breathing, but I can tell that if it were to rain right now, I think I would relatively stay pretty dry. That's probably gonna fuck things up. The Carbonite jacket has one, two, three pockets. The top pocket right here is where I have my little microphone stored, but it offers some small storage for quick, easy to go and grab things like your gels or um, quick hydration packets or just something that you want grab and go. Or you can put your car keys in here and secure it up and not have any issues with anything falling out. The left hand pocket here is just a standard zip pocket nothing too crazy the pockets are designed so that they're cut a little bit more forward on the jacket so when you're running your hands can easily slip in and out uh, and grab whatever you have to grab or you can zip them up and keep your things secure on the right hand pocket this has a pocket within a pocket there's a, a little pocket in here that you can put your car keys or maybe some gels uh, something that you would like quick access to and don't want it jingling all around your pocket. I actually have my phone stored in here. And then there's also a little bungee, uh, a little adjustment bungee in this pocket. And you can actually use that to tighten up the lower portion of the jacket to make it more form fitting. So I'm uh, six foot tall, about 215 pounds, and this is the extra large jacket. And I have the adjustment cinch just a little bit to bring the back of the jacket in closer to my behind. Uh, that prevents it from kind of flapping around while I'm running and helps keep me pretty cool. I'm a huge fan of this jacket because it is less permeable than the canopy jacket. I feel like this is gonna be a good all weather jacket or inclement weather jacket, especially if it's rainy or snowy or windy. And because of the high viz of the jacket, it makes it a lot safer to wear in inclement weather. So cars and other motorists can actually see you on the road. So there's a lot of great things to be said about this jacket. I really enjoy it. Um, it's not something I think I would wear in more warmer weather. So definitely the Brooks Canopy jacket is the jacket that's probably gonna breathe a little bit more easier than the Carbonite jacket, but the Carbonite jacket fits just like the Canopy jacket, has the added protection of being like an all weather jacket. And then because of the high viz, like I said earlier, it's safe to use along roadways because motorists will be able to see you. Um, this was probably not the best idea, but I did want to put this to use and show it in use outside uh, after my run in all of its glory because I think that uh, Brooks did a really great job designing this jacket and it's uh, by far one of the nicest jackets I have from them. You know. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, I gotta get back because uh, yeah, that's that. So over and out, guys.